Hello, welcome to another episode of Papa Bear Hikes. In the last episode, I promised we were going to have some returning and exciting guests coming on this month. Well, today's guest checks both those boxes. I am really excited to welcome back our friend, Snorkel, as she's affectionately known out on the trail, Liz Thomas. Liz, welcome back to Papa Bear Hikes. Thanks so much for having me back, Papa Bear. Now, last time we spoke, we talked a a little bit about everything. We talked some deer, we talked about through hiking and backpacking, but you have something special you want to talk about with us tonight. Yeah, I have a new project coming up. I've been working with Kula Academy to create a four-week class, and it's all online, to get ready for through hiking. So for anyone out there who has ever dreamed of going on a long backpacking trip, when I say through hiking, I don't just mean end-to-end. Section hikers, people going out on, on their dream hike who really want to know how to make it work for a week or weeks or months. Uh, that, that's what I'm all about, helping people get past that first hurdle of information. Yeah, so when we hear the word through hiking, a lot of us immediately, the go-to is the big three. Oh, you must be talking about the AT or the PCT. And you're appealing to everybody that, as you said, could be that short section hike or maybe that 30 or 40 or 50 mile trail that's close to home you've been wanting to do. For sure. I think with a 30 or 40 or 50 mile trail close to home, anything where you're going to have to plan a little bit more on your food and your water and a lot of weather changes, feet hurting from being out day after day. Those are the sorts of situations where it doesn't matter how long you're out there. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some knowledge that's going to help you to get through those tough spots. And it's great to hear you're covering that because I think it's easy for people to get caught up in, especially today, you know, the books that have been written, the um, plethora of YouTubes that are out there to think, well, this, this is just one cool adventure where I'm just going to throw on my pack, my food, and I'm going to go out there for, for months and, and have the adventure of a lifetime. But it's not always out. It's not always like that. As someone with as much backpacking experience as you have, you know firsthand it's hardly ever going to be rainbows and unicorns the whole time you're out there. There definitely are some rainbows and unicorns, and it's easy to forget the times when the feet hurt when you see those rainbows and unicorns. But yeah, you know, it's those 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 times that aren't rainbows and unicorns that can take you off trail, can make it so you don't reach your goals, whatever those are. And so anything I can do to help people feel a little more confident so that it's rainbows and unicorns, forget some other stuff, rainbows and unicorns, and come back and just talk about the rainbows and unicorns, that's what I, I'm here to do. Yeah, and it's interesting how quickly we could forget, uh, you know, the, <laughs> right? the week I hiked with, a, with bl- a blister, just getting a blister on top of a blister or stubbed my toe on day one and had to hike for two weeks with my toe throbbing. But you get home and you suddenly forget about it because it's those exciting times that really stick in your head. Exactly. I was just out this weekend and the wind was blowing and ran out of water. And uh, actually, I didn't run out of water, but uh, the water sources were really far apart. So they were heavy, long carries through the desert. And, um, you know, I was thinking, I'm not going to remember any of the tough parts when I get home. I'm just going to say, oh, it was so pretty. And I had a ton of fun. And, and I tell people sometimes those those are the things that sometimes make funny stories or interesting stories. They and make the best that, stories, right? And, and it sounds like what you're doing is preparing people that you know when you hit those bad situations, there's a way to soldier through it. There's a way to to cope with it. Yeah, and you know one of the things about it is the more you know and kind of mentally prepare for what am I going to do if I get that blister and have kind of a checklist of things to help you feel more confident. Um, it, it makes it so that when it does happen, it's not like, oh no, what do I do? My hike's over. It's more like, oh, this thing has happened. It's a problem. But luckily I have this whole toolbox of, of tips and tricks to address it so I can get on with my hike. When you're the, with the class you're teaching here, are you're taking, I'm assuming a novice can go into your class and they're going to le- learn A to Z, how to get themselves ready to do that first through hike, because I know a lot of people I speak to, there's that apprehension that I've never done this. And the older people get, I think that with anything in life, you know, I'm getting too old to learn or I'm getting too old to start this. Are are you addressing those issues to to get that, that new hiker from any age out there? 
Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I think not even just the skills of how do I go about dealing with blisters, but even that first step of how do I decide which trail to hike? Or how do I tell my family I'm going to go off in the woods for a bit? You know, some of those tough conversations are still part of the hiking experience. And oftentimes those conversations, saving up time or money to go on a hike can be the things that create the obstacles that prevent people from hiking. So I want to talk people through all the different obstacles of hiking so they can go out and do it. And I touched on this when I talked about how, you know, sometimes we're not shown the other side of this, how, you know, it, it can be work. And there's parts of through hiking that just, we don't, we don't calculate into this, right? We don't think about, well, there's the expense of gear, right? And making sure you have the right gear, not just buying gear, but making sure you have the proper gear. There's making sure you're physically, mentally prepared to do this. If you've got loved ones at home that you need, you need to prepare them and jobs. Um, and these are all things you're going to be talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's, it's a whole comprehensive package going on a hike. It's the gear, it's the nutrition, it's the fitness. It's a lot of outdoor skills and knowledge. And it's also thinking about your people back at home, whether that's your family and friends that you're missing out on or even your work colleagues. So I think thinking of this holistically as a, I'm going on adventure and, and there are many more steps than I even realized when I first thought about this. Um, I, I really want to demystify all of those. So it, it helps break down the barriers to getting out. I think so. I think with knowledge, with most people with knowledge comes confidence. Okay. Uh, somebody who's never hiked before or backpacked. Well, what happens if I get out there for a week long trip and it rains every day I'm out there. Well, sounds like you're going to be helping them prepare, not just mentally, but making sure they have the right gear to, to cope with that and not turn it into a disastrous situation. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, when I first wanted to get into through hiking, that was exactly one of the things that I was really concerned about. What do you do when it's raining for multiple days? And now that I've been doing this for a long, long time, I've got all sorts of steps and tricks and uh, strategies. And, you know, I think so much of it is about what can I do to keep my morale up when things start looking bleak. And um, I think, you know, sometimes seeing another person who has a lot of experience giving you permission to, hey, if it's raining really hard, maybe you could just hang out in your tent for the day. I think, I think giving people the permission to do something, they're like, I really wish I could do this is also a really helpful uh, part of the class. I could tell you from my own experience, when I took that step from somebody who just did overnights and two night trips to multi-week trips, being around seasoned hikers through hikers and, and hearing those little things. Hey, you know, it's okay if you go into town and you're at a hostel, it's okay to take an extra day if you're feeling a little sore to let your body recover. That's okay. And it's good to go into town, get yourself a meal. There's nothing wrong with that. Doesn't make you less of a hiker. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think sometimes there's these these preconceived notions of what is and isn't a hiker and what I have and can't do uh, when I'm a hiker. And and I think the more I do this, the more I realize that there's no one answer. It goes back to the old hike your own hike, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Right? We've, we hear that all the time. It sounds like a bit of a cliche, but it's the truth. We all, uh, you know, there's there's no rules. Okay. There, there's no rules on how you're supposed to do this. Now, of course, if you're involved in one of the hiking challenges or something, you have to hike X number of peaks or whatever, but in backpacking in general, there's no rule. You could set the rules. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I love that. You know, aside from, uh, you know, packing out your trash and, and taking care of your waste and that sort of thing. Yeah. This is one of the first times in a lot of people's lives where they get to be their own boss. I hope you enjoyed listening to this segment of my interview with Liz Thomas. If you like what you've heard so far, please go to papabeerhikes.com where you can hear this episode in its entirety. Thanks for listening. If you haven't done so yet, go to our website, papabeerhikes.com. Listen to past episodes. Check us out on social media. Go to our YouTube channel, Martin Outside. All those links are there. In addition to that, you can buy our book or see what you're missing out on if you're not a Patreon member yet. Remember to get outside, have fun, and be safe.